And hello! Welcome back to my Let's Play of Armored Core 4 Answer. This will be Episode 7. My name is Siphon Razor slash Siphon117. And uh, today, we will go ahead and finish up the remainder of the Collard matches. And then we shall see about doing a couple of missions. But for now, we shall get into the Collard matches. My... There's been no changes to my AC since the last episode. I'm still sticking with the machine gun, laser blade, grenade launcher combination. So let us begin with Gerald. This is a different pilot, but the same next from Armored Core 4. Uh, Leonhardt died in Armored Core 4, and his, this is his successor. Um, funny thing... Gerald is a way better pilot than Leonhardt was. Um, I don't know if this is a glitch due to the game, or just something they left out, but in Armored Core 4, barring special circumstances, he would never use the laser cannons in the arena. Ever. None that I remember. In this game, he does use the laser cannons. And so... He be, the, those back lasers are quite powerful, so that's something you need to be aware of. So we'll just uh, go at it. And it brings up Rosenthal, conveniently enough. So. <laughs> there we go. Oop, there we go. Just gotta stay out of the way of his lasers. Because those lasers will hurt a lot. Ow, just like that. on his toes so he doesn't use his lasers on me. Ooh. And dead. Alright. Like I said, he, he much more of a threat in this game than he was in Armored Core 4. Noblesse Oblige, got some stabilizers. Alright. Looking good, looking good. Rhodey. Now this guy is a survivor from Armored Core 4 as well. Um, in Armored Core 4, he wasn't a very good pilot, uh, much like most of GA's Lynxes at the time, except for two, three. I'm just going to say with three for Armored Core 4. In this game, he uh, he's moved up the ranks. He has a low AMS ability, so he's not that mobile, but he is... Oh, those bazooka arms. They can do lots of damage. You have to definitely be very careful when fighting him, and you'll see why. If he hits me with those bazookas, a direct hit, even with full primal armor on, can deal oh, 6,000 plus AP damage in a single strike, and they're rapid fire, so he can chain hit them. He also has some uh, reasonably decent missiles on him. Those high act missiles. You can, of course, run him out of ammunition if you so please, but. That won't really be necessary for this match. Ow! Oh wait, that was... Did he hit me? I feel like he might have hit me and he just... It was just a glancing blow. Ow! That he, that time he did hit me for 6,000. There you are. Now, because he's a GA craft, he has very low defenses against energy weapons, so... <laughs> Look at that. All right. But he's definitely one that you have to be careful with because of his bazooka arms. So, feedback defeated. I believe he has the same emblem from the last game as well. Windy Fanchion. Now, this is where it starts to get difficult with the Collard ranked matches. Um, she's rank 3. 
And as rank three, she kicks ass. Her armament consists of a rail gun on the right arm, a high damage laser blade on the left arm, a double barrel laser cannon on the right back or on the left back, and then a rapid fire pulse cannon on the right back. And she's quite fast and agile, and she can stay in the air for a long time. So, definitely need to try and hammer her with the grenades and machine gun, because being an interior union craft, my laser blade won't be doing that much damage. It'll still do a lot of damage if I get consistent hits in, but be better off with the grenades. So, Oop, that was the railgun shot. Ah, God. She's also really good at leading her shots with that plasma cannon of her. Or not plasma, the laser cannon. There we go. Got a decent hit on her. God, that laser cannon hurts like a motherfucker. Ow. Her, her railgun can also deal consistent damage at long range, so something to keep in mind. You can snipe her with sniper cannons if you so wish, and because she has practically none and no stability, uh, those can work quite well against her, but it's more fun this way in my opinion. Funnily enough, if she didn't have primal armor right there, that would have been the death of her. There we go. Whew. Keeping on my A-game there, because she's... She is very deadly with her, uh... Ooh, new parts unlocked. More schematics. Alright. So... That's Wendy Fanchon done. Next, Lilium Wolcott. Lilium Wolcott is a... Oh, I don't know about the whole Wolcott name thing. She's basically the replacement for... Uh, what was her name? The... The princess lady person from Armored Core 4. The, the sniper extraordinaire. What was her name? I can't remember. But she's t basically taken her place using, with BFF basing their designs around her combat style, effectively. Mary Shelley, it's in the fucking description, I'm blind as a bat. Okay, Mary Shelley, yeah. Um, she's quite good. Uh, her craft relies on rapid fire mid-range attacks, and she also has good defenses, and is reasonably mobile as well, so... Uh, she can be quite tough to fight. Um, of course, I'm still a close quarters attacker type next, so we'll see how this goes. Almost got her. That laser rifle, by the way, is the only energy weapon BFF produces. It has 50 shots, it has the longest range, and is the most accurate of all the laser weapons. But it's also quite draining, and only has 50 shots, so... Ow, 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 ow! Stop it! She also has that ECM shoulder emitter thing, which... I'm still not entirely sure what that's supposed to do, I've never really used it. I believe it, it messes with my radar to some extent, but I've never had any issues with it, so. Ah, laser blade finish. She's quite good. Um, she, she, you have to keep her on her toes to defeat her. More parts unlocked. Ambient 047, 049. I believe this 
might give me the head part that I'm looking for. Before I fight Otsdarva, let me take a quick look at the shop. Uh, it did give me the Latona head, which is nice. Um, but not, oh, yes, there it is. That's the BFF head I was wanting. Let me see, did it give me... Ah, yes, so... Uh, so, quick change, 047 head, Latona arms, did it give me the Latona boosters as well? Give me the Rigel generator. Ah, yes, so I can pick the Latona back booster. Uh... Oh, I didn't realize you could just click on the stick to go back from buy and sell. Ah, oh, that's nifty. Uh, what about, uh, I need to buy. What about the laser blades? Ah, oh, yes. Still gonna stick with the same, uh, machine gun, but... So, change out that for this. Slightly heavier. Go for that, because it's lighter. Uh, can't go with that yet. I might pick a even lighter um, uh, let me see actually real fast in the shop I know this is very impromptu but it's kind of the general feel I want because I'm we're experiencing this together as it were um, is the plan so BFF various generators. I could go with that and I would still be able to... Oh yeah, I, did, I need to change the arms as well. Um, those are actually quite good, but... Change the arms. There we go, look at that. Now this design right here is actually modeled this look is modeled after a mech from another series. Specifically, the uh, Muvlove Alternative series with the uh, the type Taki Mechizab... A word that I can't say. So... And I don't need to increase my weight. I can put these into my... Now look at that. My energy recovery is outstandingly high now. All right, that is very nice. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. This is the new BFF. Well, not BFF. Um, it, well, it's still going to be strayed, but this is modeled after the Type 00, zero talking make is a something or other from of love alternative with the the uh the bff head having the oh wait one more thing i need to add do i have the crest i do not have the crest i might not have part for the crest yet let me check that's not the shop <laughs> oh i'm very scatterbrained today um i do apologize uh ooh, ooh more no head. Let's buy those. More and more. More and more. Okay, there we go. So it doesn't have the head crest that the Type 00 has yet. Um. Albeit, I could go with that, actually. Uh, I'll go with that one for now. And then, I don't have the Lahir one, but I can use that one and that one. I'm very OCD when it comes to the...
There we go. Let's see here. There we go. Very OCD when it comes to the stabilization. So once I get a different head crest, it'll look more like the Taiki type uh, Taki Mikaza. And it's not exact, of course. Some of the parts aren't quite perfect, but I'm actually going to make a quick change to the paint. It's the support. I'm going to make that. I think I have a silver. I can make a silver real quick. There we go. Make a silver. Alright, there it is. And we shall leave that good. That is my new next with the new blade, which is a really nice blade. Let me just do a quick comparison here. I know the time is running long here, but... So, this is my new setup for now that I'm going to be doing. A machine gun with the Hitman, which is still a good weapon. The... L Tannen, which is a really good laser blade. It's stronger than the EBR 500, which is also a pretty good laser blade. It doesn't have as long a blade, but it has a wider blade. It's not as powerful as the Dragon Slayer, but it has a much longer blade, which means it does more damage. It also has a much lower EN cost just to equip it. Look at the comparison here. 816 with the EBR 500 and then 1064 with the Dragon Slayer versus 339. And just my energy recovery is through 24,000, which is nice. And I've got the Travers grenade cannon here, which is always a good weapon, 18 shots. So this is my setup for now. And uh, I'll be able to do quite a few missions with that setup. But for now, uh, I think... Uh, probably going to be doing this episode a little bit short. I'm going to defeat Otsdarva. Otsdarva. Uh, not actually a recurring character. He, it says he's from Raelianard, um, but that just could mean he's a survivor from the corporation itself. He didn't have any role in Armored Core 4. His next uh, stasis, the Type Lahir, is effectively... I think I was talking about this actually in one of my earlier episodes, a lighter weight version of the of the Aaliyah due to uh, due to when Ray Leonard was destroyed uh, by the protagonist of Armored Core 4. The uh, in a lot of the engineers were uh, re were hired by Omer, you know, because they don't have a job anymore. So. And as well as other, like, possibly, like, uh, prototypes and data and stuff like that taken from their, from Ray Leonard's remains. It has an assault rifle, a laser rifle, which is akin to, like, the laser bazooka is what it's called, and a vertical PM missile launcher. He also has assault armor, but he never uses it, as far as I'm aware, so, you know... Maybe I'm just really lucky and I've never gotten it used against me. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. My grenade cannon. Let us begin. There's that laser I was talking about. He's annoyingly accurate with that thing. Which is... He's also very skilled, like his dodging, he, he basically second stages all the time when he side dodges and stuff. And it can make him quite a tough opponent to keep your, uh, your sights on. As you can see, he's dodging quite a few of my grenade shots. Ah, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get him with a blade. Ah, yes, 
Yes, take that. Look at my energy gains. It, like, barely moves. <laughs> there we go. 200,000 stasis, stabilizers, new parts. 15 units of FRS memory and more schematics. Look at all that. All Kalard necks defeated. And voila! We don't have any more Kalard uh, ranked matches to do. So, let's do a quick look here. Uh, shop. See what other uh, stabilizers are available. Okay, I think it gives them to you, so I'll do a quick check on those real fast. Um, any, uh, oop, that's a good rifle. I'll, uh, I'll possibly do a, uh, a new build with this rifle here. Um, or just those rifles in general. Ooh, that's a good sniper rifle. That's also a reasonably good machine gun, actually. Um, it's slightly heavier than the Hitman, has less attack power, and less ammunition. So, eh, realistically, the Hitman is better, though. Uh, the Gatling gun, let's see, uh... Oh, we got the rail gun! <laughs> well, that's a good weapon to have. We'll be using that on, a, on another build later on. Um, Altair, the Avior... Omer's own laser rifle, the... Ooh, the Taurus Plasma Rifle. That's quite good. 15,000. Um, Omer's laser blades. Also, pocket blades, which we'll be wanting to have. Let's see, on the back... More scatter missiles. Lots of missiles. And the triple rockets, at last. I want those for a very specific reason. And you'll see why later. Um, sniper cannons. Ooh, a chain gun on the back. The Agoto. I can't carry the Agoto with my setup, but I don't really need it, so... The Fact Railgun. This is... On 1.2, on Regulation 1.2, this railgun was overpowered. Because you could fire fast, it had a massive range, did good damage. They nerfed it a bit in 1.4. They lowered its rate of fire and increased its EN cost and stuff like that. But it's still a good weapon. Laser cannons, plasma cannon. No, no, don't have the serious laser cannon yet. And more radars. More shoulder extensions. Uh, more ECM stuff. More parts in general. Uh... 047... Lancel, that's nice actually. Oh wait, I already have already had access to that. Never mind. Latona, which is pretty good, but I, I'm not a big fan of the big bulging booster thing in the center of, on the upper leg. But Judith, Salah, lots of goodies basically. Um, I'll go ahead and buy the Rigel because I can use that later. Um, let's see, what about boosters? Aha! I have that. I want that. The side boosters, I think we're good there. I'll get the Rigel over booster. And I'm now out of money. <laughs> and those are for reasons that we'll do. I'll be uh, making an ACs later on in the game. But for now, uh, this setup will still be the same. The rockets, I'll show you why I got the rockets. Um, and uh, so I know this is kind of, kind of a hectic episode. I haven't done a huge amount of stuff, but thank you for watching. My name is Siphon Razor slash Siphon117. If you like the video, please consider giving it a like. If you want to watch more, please consider subscribing. If you dislike the video, dislike the vi give the, the video a dislike, and then tell me why you didn't like it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye, everybody.